Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I'm very excited to be checking out a new single from Currents called Remember Me. This comes with the album announcement. The title track is The Death We Seek, uh, which is very promising to have a track like that as your title track. Uh, that is the bar for me between the two singles for sure, but Vengeance has grown on me a ton since I made that video. I've already pre-ordered my vinyl. I'll link those, uh, you know, any sort of pre-order or merch links that can be found for the album in the description. I also just wanted to point out the GoFundMe for Ryan is going to be in the description. I'm sure most of you have seen the announcement, uh, which is, is very sad and unfortunate, but uh, the community can come together for things like this. It's like one of the most important things that we can do. So if you can't donate to it, you can share it. Uh, all of that stuff helps. That will be at the very top of the description, the first thing. Uh, other than that, I will link the music video and all of current social media pre-order links for vinyl, merch, all of that good stuff in the description as well. I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Singing just getting better and better from Brian. Like. Mr. Wiseman. <laughs> oh yeah oh. Just stellar guitar work on this Yeah, these layered vocals too. <laughs>
No way. That was fast. Currents, remember me, let's discuss. So as I had mentioned, Vengeance has grown on me a lot since I made the video for it. And I didn't, I never uh, disliked it. I, it just was a very, a very far reach from the title track for me. But then the more I listened to it and kind of the, not only like the flow from Brian, if you think of that line, like I never wanted to be a victim. Uh, some of the delivery there, there are just so many parts of it that stuck out to me more and more as I listened. But this one was a an off the bat type of track, just like the Death We Seek was for me. Uh, as soon as that it, intro kind of opens up and you hear the instrumentals, you hear that synth going with it that kind of furthers the emotion that's, that's presented in this song uh, with every other element really. And you get the more melodic feel from the guitar work in places, but at the same time, You've got the riffs that are are quite the opposite of that, and I think it's a great balance of the two, and is promising, especially for the rest of the record. Uh, in that first verse, you've also got some fantastic uh, bass, and I just I feel like this one uh, comes just under the death we seek for me. But that one's gonna be hard to to beat, as I already had mentioned. Uh, with this, you don't need some sort of over the top like breakdown just to add one in. I think you have. Uh, the the line that says and now there never will be that goes into the riff uh, and some instrumental but not not anything that doesn't fit the rest of the song so this is very in the same vein for me as like monsters kill the ache better days which they're getting better and better at making these sort of songs at uh, kind of doing the structure a little bit like with this one it feels a little bit different uh, but it, it still kind of sticks to the things that they've been doing really well with that that style and also seeing them play better days live last year uh, I've, I've always loved that song but it, even live they can play stuff like this and it just has the same effect especially with a vocalist like brian who is just uh, furthering their their talent and what they're doing on these tracks more and more i i think you you know you love to see that and the i think it's gonna be very highlighted his singing which is very fair uh, that first verse kind of shows off the the progress that he's continued to make with that but you go and listen to those layered parts i was talking about and some of the lows that he has in here and it's it's the same like trajectory that he's on uh, success or like improvement wise i suppose would be a better a word for that but like this the same path with with his screams they just continue to get better and also the mix on this it highlights everything that's so important like i was talking about that synth uh, that adds a lot and it's present in all like all of these singles and in one form or another uh, but with this being kind of uh, it, it definitely hit me emotionally especially hearing some of the lyrics You've got the video, which is unsurprisingly extremely well done. Uh, Chris did this video as well. He did uh, Immolation of Night is coming up from Invent Animate. He did that video. He did uh, the, the Death We Seek, which that video is just... It's one of the best music videos that I've, I've ever seen. And he's, I could keep listing this stuff, but it's that's another person who just continues to get better and better at what they're doing. Uh, so I'm finding myself extremely excited for this album. I know that, you know, with Vengeance, it kind of felt like uh, I didn't give that track enough credit immediately as I did late. There was one day I was listening to it, and as soon as like that, I never wanted to be a victim. I thought I could rise above. I was like, this is... A it's never hit me quite that way and you know sometimes you got to open up the living room mosh pit and so i think i bonded with the song there and i <laughs> and then you have these two tracks which automatically like the first time hearing them it just from there it's probably going to be even more so, so this is looking to be a, one of my most anticipated obviously uh, if you've seen me ever talk about Invent Animate, that is my number one most anticipated album for this year, but Currents is going to be a following up shortly right behind that in terms of the things that have been announced. If maybe like the Contortionist announces or something, uh, that's like a band that, that'll be up there as well, but Currents being one of my favorite bands, uh, I do think I'm, I'm being somewhat fair and not, not like overly ranting about it. Uh, which I, I try to do with these videos. That's why I keep it a little bit shorter when it's bands that I, I love this much. But I do think that there was a lot to, to take in and talk about just off of one listen. That four minutes was so fast. It was so well used. And like I said, not having that kind of like 
uh, some, you know, I do feel like lately I've, I've listened to some stuff where it's like, okay, like you kind of went with like one vibe and then you added in the breakdown, which makes sense. Uh, but it, it felt a little bit out of place, things like that. But uh, I really respect like going, having the leaning harder on the other elements for, for songs where that's the case. And then having things like the death we seek and, and some of those moments and who knows what else will be on this album. But I am getting more and more excited for it. Uh, the, the more that we see from it, I do hope with three singles now, we've got until May. Hopefully, like, just one more will, will be good for me, one or two. I may not listen past, it will be very difficult, but I may not listen past, like, one or two. That way, uh, when the album comes out, for me, lots of lots of new stuff, because this is a band that's very consistent. They don't have a single song in their discography that I'm like, you know what, nah, I don't, I don't love this one as much. Uh, well, I guess that's, that's true from, like, into despair on i don't go back as much as i use like as time goes on and their discography expands forward a bit i guess i find myself going back to the very beginning a little bit less but i, I still think that those uh, are were important uh, moments to get me into the band and, and that they're always going to be on the rotation to some degree uh, like every year there won't be ever a year where i don't go all the way back uh, in their discography for a very long time at least so uh, those are my thoughts on listening to the song uh, one time. I am going to be putting this on repeat for sure. It's been a, a big music month of January. This is the first song from February, so it is looking very promising, and it's it's not going to slow down, I don't reckon. So, again, uh, I put the... Uh, link the GoFundMe for uh, Ryan in the description of this video. That is, again, incredibly important. Uh, something to share if you can't donate or um, whatever you can do, really. Um, that's that's the most outstanding thing. But of course, I'll link pre-orders, all of that stuff, the, the social media for Currents, the video, uh, which Chris Chris Clump is just just at the top tier, gonna make all my favorite music videos from here on out, it seems. So uh, excited to see what else Chris will do as well. Uh, but all that stuff in the description of this video. You can also find my link tree there, which will have the invite for the Discord server. Uh, we've got the community for my YouTube channel based in there. Uh, the Patreon link will be in that link tree as well. I've rolled that out uh, within like the last month, maybe not even. Uh, and I've had a ton of fun with it. Thank you so much to everybody who has signed up. Very excited to continue working on that, uh, doing streams, coming up with new ideas, all of that good stuff. Any other links you may need related to my channel will also be in that link tree in the description. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.